top of the day, everybody. Welcome to the Forum Lima program of MC House. I'm your host, MLC Slash L. Today's Forum Lima program is at the number one tourist attraction in the country, the Sri Dagon Pagoda. So our plan is to talk to some of the tourists visiting here and learn some knowledge about them. Are you on board with that? Let's start now. Let's go. Yeah, uh, my name is Martin. I'm from Hong Kong. Yes. You can go first. Go first. <laughs> I'm Zoe, and I'm from Australia. I'm Francois, and I'm French. Blanca from Spain. And Simone from Spain too, but I'm Italian. Yes, yes. My name is Arthur Neumann. I'm coming from Germany. I'm Ruben. I'm from Singapore. Uh, my name is Chantal Ponte. I'm from the Philippines. Milica from Serbia. Thomas from Belgium. Uh, Valerie also from Belgium. Yeah. <laughs> Hello, my name is Karine and I come from France. <laughs> I came here for six days. Um, actually, I'm going for bargain, but um, I, I planned here because um, it's like it has very good um, Buddhist um, culture, which um, I personally yeah, yeah, would like to explore that. more in, and so that's why I'm here. <laughs> yeah. Um, tourism to see a beautiful country and we came seven days ago a, a week, week ago, ago yeah. uh, we first went to Bagan so we spent two days there and then we spent three days in Na Napali yeah. and then we got to Yangon just yesterday and we are leaving tomorrow just a short yeah, yeah. <laughs> very short trip we are doing our uh, honey honeymoon trip and it's our first day in Myanmar, so we are very happy to be here and uh, we are going to stay nine days in the whole country. Hmm. Yeah, we are, go we are going to uh, visit uh, some places in the country, in the north, Mandalay, uh, Bagan, Bagan, and uh, Lake uh, Inle. Mm -hmm. Inle? Inle? Yes. So I visited to Burma because my family live here, my sister-in-law, I'm married to Burmese and uh, my wife and I are living in Germany but we coming normally every year to Burma. So we went as well to Napoli, you know, Santwe and uh, I go to Mandalay, Pagan, Memio. So I have a lot of friends and family, you know. This is why I come back. Uh, this is my second day here. Uh, why did I come to this country? Because we are attending uh, one of our friends' wedding. And Yes, uh, I think why we come into the Peace Pagoda is like a must if you are coming to Myanmar, Yangon. Yeah, so that's why we came here to see this majestic building. Uh, for so far now, it's been quite a very nice place. I've been enjoying myself. Uh, hopefully we can see more stuff over here as well. Well, actually it's for job, job, reason. <laughs> job reason. We're here only for like a day. Yeah. 24 hours. Yeah. I see. Two weeks. For um, visiting around the country, yeah, sightseeing, just two weeks, yeah, going around. <laughs> yeah. Oh, this is my first day. I arrived uh, yesterday, uh, and I, I would like to visit first Yangon with all pagoda, and uh, after go to uh, Mandalay, Bagan, um, Ipso, etc. <laughs> um, I guess. Magnificent? Um, yeah, yeah. Yes. Breathtaking. It's almost two, but. Yeah, that's it's got a hyphen in there, so. <laughs> one word. Um, that's a difficult one. Um, Shiny. Incredible. <laughs> Shiny, that's, that's me. <laughs> it's uh, impressive. Uh, it's so beautiful, and the gold uh, is very clean. It's very impressive for me. Uh, yeah, so, so nice. The world is amazing. Yeah. Yeah. It's, yeah. it's beautiful. Yeah. Really. It's so, so beautiful. Right. Also, Schwedagun Pagode, I think, you know, is one of the biggest uh, things in the world, you know. And uh, I think number one, you know, in the world. Because quite large and as well beautiful. And uh, the people, you know, they love the Schwedagun. And I think. Even the people from Europe and the world, you know, when they're coming, they will love 
three that one for gold. Yeah, yeah uh, I'll definitely choose Majestic. This thing is really, really majestic. Uh, I'm really totally in shock at how big and grand this place is. Uh, so, really looking forward to this. Thank you. Mm. Amazing. Ah, I would use the same word, yeah. Amazing. I don't know what to say besides that. One word uh, beautiful. Thank you. Uh, big. Oh, <laughs> yeah, very big. <laughs> Amazing. Yes. <laughs>Oh, probably uh, some, um, like we usually walk in shoes, like, like, um, trainers and something. And I, and as my observation, like everybody in the street is uh, just like, I'm walking, um, on, on the pavement with like, actually it's concrete pavement with, um, bare legs or bare feet, sorry, bare feet and, and, and maybe just flip flops like I do now. <laughs> yes. I have something really nice. Uh, oh, the yeah, people definitely. are smiling a lot, and that's really, really nice. Yeah. And we've been in Asia for quite a while, and that's one of the first country that the people are smiling before us. So yeah. that's, really, <laughs> Usually we smile that's something first. really, really nice about you guys. <laughs> yeah. I appreciate that. So that's definitely not scary. <laughs> no. Scary, no. But it's, it's really wonderful yeah, to see yeah, that. Nice country, Very laid back people. Beautiful chill. people. Um, just absolutely i don't know just so happy and welcoming okay. yeah uh, maybe uh, as it's our first day it's very soon to maybe answer this question but uh, for the moment uh, it's very very nice uh, our experience uh, yeah probably yeah. just we can say something about the traffic yes maybe there's a lot of traffic and uh, the the way people used to drive is funny for me. Uh, I mean, I like it. I would like to to, to drive it here. <laughs> for for me, is this you know how they drive the car in here? You know, it's fantastic. You know, because I ne never saw a crash, car crash. So I think you know they are the very good driver in here, and uh, the people can trust you know as well when they come here. So even a taxi, you know, who looks old. It's a safety place, you know. I think this is my experience, you know, I can say the biggest because I use every day the cars and uh, for me it's in the, the first number one is the safety and to talk with the people because some driver as well, they can speak English, not much, but I can uh, talk to them, you know, and I, they talk to me back, you know. This is for me the first, you know. And I feel it, you know, very warm, you know, in this country, you know, because Actually, you know, this is my family, you know, because I, my wife come from here, my sister-in-law, and I rest as well from the family. This is, I, I love to come back, you know. Uh, first day, I tried on the traditional clothes for uh, Myanmar. Yeah, and I couldn't, I couldn't do it. Like, I didn't know how, like, so I needed a lot of help with that. Yeah. <laughs> we need some guide to how to do it. <laughs> yeah. I tried putting on a sole. Yeah, so okay. I couldn't do it. <laughs> I don't know, to be honest. For me, honestly, there's no, like, bad thing. It was more of good things, because people are very nice. I mean, compared to the countries we've been to, they're very hospitable, I must say. They're very, they smile a lot, and very approachable. Yes, yeah, that's true. Like, they're very calm and peaceful people. They have their own culture, and they're not forcing you to do the same. They're just telling you how it is here. And that's it. It's nice. <laughs> uh, I think a lot was shocking or interesting because it's a different culture. Um, but I don't know, do you have a specific example? Well, yeah, just in general, like, it's totally different from where we come. Uh, I think, uh, how can I say? When you come here, we notice that we are way too spoiled in our countries. Uh, especially we went to see a school. A Buddhist school, and I think that was the one of one of the most shocking parts, where you see one teacher with 80 kids, and if you know that we have one teacher for 25 max, I think. So I think I thought that was quite uh, well a difference, yeah, compared to our countries. 
not not for the moment because I arrived yesterday. I see. So <laughs> I just see one day and it's very short to see uh, something. This is my first visit here. So my only road is very beautiful. People are very kind and uh, not scary thing and not not, not shocking thing. <laughs> That's <Okay>. fine. <laughs> Uh, Mgoi, Doje. Yes, there are two two faces, but yeah, meaning more or less the same as thank you. One is like um, Mgoi is like someone have done you favor, and is an appreciation, and another one is um, maybe somebody give you something, and as a face to thank. Yeah, they're a little bit different, but yeah, it mo mean more or less the same as thank you. Thank you. <laughs> That's all. Merci beaucoup. Muchas gracias y estamos encantados de estar en Myanmar. Se recomienda mm, claramente. Gracias a todos y venid a Myanmar, que es espectacular. I say thank you and uh, it's a high recommended to be here in Myanmar. Yeah. I say thank you all. Come to Myanmar because it's very beautiful. Ich danke für das Interview und äh, wünsche euch noch viel Glück und dass sich alles im Positiven ändert. That's meaning you know, in English. In English, you know, I can say as well, you know, I wish you, you know, good luck and as well that everything come positive for the country, you know, and for the world as well, you know. We have few languages, so thank you. Sessie and Jeju Debade. Maraming maraming salamat Myanmar. Mahal ko kayo. Hwala, pozdro svima, sve najbolje. I said thank you so much, Myanmar. I love you all. I said like thank you to everybody. All the best. Thanks. Thank you all. <laughs> uh, thank you. <laughs> okay. Uh, merci beaucoup, au Myanmar. Um, I come from an island too, and um, in the language is Creole, and um, in Creole this is uh, Messi. Messi. 